Nam the Kanu not IPOB member leader. Organize the president Iwanyang. Hey. This one shock. Oh. I not understand what he mean by Nam the Kanu not IPOB member leader. Well, let's hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. By people, the president of Organizing Digbo Social Cultural Organization, Emmanuel Wanyamo, has declared that Enam the Kano is not a member or leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. Hypo. Oh, really? Iwanyangu disclosed this while addressing newsmen after leading members of Organese to visit Kano at the Department of State Service DSS facility in Abuja on Thursday. Kano is currently locked up at the DSS facility in Abuja despite several court orders for his release. The federal government of Nigeria has refused to release him. We now know how Hitewaka come Nigeria. How the federal government of Nigeria kidnapped and come from Kenya to Nigeria. Uh -huh. Even in 2020, uh, October 13, the uh, Nigerian court, Nigerian court of um, competent jurisdiction for that uh, matter, uh -huh. they can't say make Mazin Nam the Kanu go. But the, the then led president, Muhammad Buhari, say no, he's not satisfied. He and uh, uh, Abubakar Malami, the then AGF of uh, Nigeria, they said Nam the Kanu cannot go. They are not satisfied yet. Till today, the federal government of Nigeria, now led by President Bola Metinubu, they are still holding Mazen Nam the Kanu, even with the appeal, you know, by so many persons, the Southeasterners, even Nigerians, you know, prominent, pro, prominent Nigerians have called President Bola Metinubu. They don't tell and say, I beg, let this man go, at least for the sake of peace and unity in Nigeria. He say he no agree. Uh, the Biafra agitator is currently facing terrorism-related charges levied against him by the Nigerian government. However, the organized president said, I can tell you that Namdi Kanu is not a member of leader of IPOB. Please do not forget that he has been saying it. And he said it again to me today. I am appealing to the president to release Nam the Kanu so that we can see whether the perpetrators would see reasons again to carry out the heinous crime. Like I told you, my going there is to make sure that Nam the Kanu has no hand in IPOP. And I can tell you that he has said it again to my face that he has no hand in it. This is coming when some part of the southeast was shut down yesterday uh, that was um, on the thursday uh, 30th may in compliance with the set at home order issued by ipop ipop said may 30 should be set aside to remember heroes and heroines who died during the biafra civil war nigeria so now don't come but they hear this one now because this one shocked me as the the Igbo leader say Nam the Kano is not a member of IPOP. I don't understand this one. Well, this have generated uh, a lot of reactions uh, from uh, Nigerians. People just they talk left, right, and center. Which one now are we going to take? So, is he trying to tell us now that Mazin Nam the Kano is no longer a Biafra agitator? Anyway, whatever he's saying right now, he's saying it so that the Nigerian government will understand that what is going on in the Southeast, you know, talking about insecurity that uh, bedevilly uh, that uh, region. Uh, you just want them to know that Martin and the Kano's hands is not, is not there. I think that is just what he's trying to say by saying Martin and the Kano is not a public leader. Uh, come to think of it, since when since he has been in the DSS custody since twenty twenty one, you know if he give instruction now, uh, hey. so not be him. They handle affairs, uh, talking about IPOB and all that, and that is the reason why the government should 
really look into the issue of Mazin and the Kanu's release because the matter don't come off for a hand. Right now, he is cassipated in the DSS custody. So you see, that is the reason why they should also understand that even if they decide to buy Mazinam the cannons today, he's not going to uh, uh, end the job, the Biafra agitator. Yes. Now they say, and now I say the thing, like, it be like an ideology. So what is there is that the government should release this man and go to the root of agitations. Yes. That is the only way to solve this problem. Then they talk, say, uh, what did they make person? They say you be real man. Is when you have when you when you face your problems face to face. Not be say you will get problem. You they go side by side. No, mm -mm. that does not make makes you a man. A real man face his problem face to face and resolve it. So the government of Nigeria should go to the root of agitation first. You understand? First of all, release this man. Release him and let him go. Let's see, according to Ogaleze Indigo president, let's see whether all this wala of insecurity in the southeast region no go end. If you can recall, before this last uh, uh, court, he said it. He appeared in court. He said it. He said, see, uh, understand what is going on right now in the southeast. It's because I'm not there. Uh -huh. That is what, uh, that is the reason why all these things is going on. In his words, he said, just release me. Let me be out from here. Two minutes, all this madness will stop. He said it, that there are some persons, uh, government, government or whatever, not them, they, you know, they sponsor all these things going on in the Southeast. And uh, those people who are doing that, they are not doing it for his good. Now that place, now pay me pass. He said they are not doing it for his good. Anyway, uh, when I don't hear all the matter, uh, what's your take on this? I beg subscribe to this channel please uh, share this video let it go viral i beg and uh, don't forget to give us a, a thumbs up i beg like us now please like us and drop your message below the comments uh, uh boss thank you for always stopping by may god almighty prosper you all amen bye for now